If you're taking this particular class of drugs for your stomach and you're worried about COVID-19 infection, then you really need to listen to this video. Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, publisher of Modern Health Myths, and today we're going to talk about a particular class of drugs that has been shown to drastically increase the risk of testing positive for COVID-19. And let me start by saying that there are a few drugs that give me more heebie-jeebies than long-term use of blocking stomach acid. So our protein pump inhibitors, so your PPIs, uh, things like Prilosec, um, generic Omeprazole, um, Nexium, um, we've got Prevacid, SFX, very common drugs that block the production of stomach acid. Well, arguably, uh, we have a rest and digest and fight or flight. So half of what we do is digestion. And in order for digestion to occur, we need stomach acid. It is an absolutely, positively critical aspect of everything that we do related to digestion. And if we take a drug that stops it, then all hell can break loose. You're opening up a Pandora's box of massive proportions when it comes to your health. Uh, certainly, there is a time and a place for these this class of drugs, if somebody's got a bleeding ulcer, it will save your, your life. But if your doctor told you that you can take these for years and it's not going to create a problem, they missed something in medical school when they talked about gut physiology. So one of the things that stomach acid does is it just destroys most organic materials that come through. So if you have a strong enough pH in your stomach, if it's acidic enough, you you're going to destroy bacteria, viruses. They just can't make it through. They're, they're destroyed by the acidity of the stomach. We know this is the case with things like co, um, C. diff, uh, Clostridium difficile, that people who are on acid-blocking drugs are more likely to develop that type of an infection. Totally makes sense. You don't destroy that bacteria in the stomach, so it makes it through to the lower part of the GI tract to cause problems. We know that SIBO, so small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, is a big problem as well with people who are on acid blocking drugs because you now have bacteria growing where it's not supposed to grow because it didn't get killed off in the stomach. Viruses are no different. And so a strong stomach acid will destroy viruses. And since we know that COVID-19 has a GI component, upwards of 40% of people have uh, this experience or have GI complaints associated with their infection, it would make sense that this class of drugs would uh, change your risk of infection. So to put it in perspective, this study looked at is a observational study. So these researchers looked at a large number of patients, I believe it was around 20,000, and looked at any um, if PPIs, that class of drugs to block acid in the stomach, had any effect on the risk of being tested positive for coronavirus. And people who took the drugs once per day had a 215% increased risk. That's more than double, for those of you that math is not your strong point. For people who took two a day, the risk jumped up to 367%. That's almost four times greater risk of being diagnosed positive with COVID. Um, so again, I, it totally makes sense. This isn't a big surprise. Um, doesn't need to change things, but it, it does certainly, again, remind us how important it is to be healthy. And somebody who we would consider healthy, but they're, they take... Nexium or Prilosec on a daily basis may not be healthy, um, even though we would consider them healthy because they don't have a diagnosis of hypertension or um, uh, hypertension or diabetes or obesity or, or anything like that. So, uh, as always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the comments section. And please remember to like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs this information, and subscribe to the channel.